it's Tear and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you how you can take an old perm rod set and turn it into a curly pineapple ponytail. So let's grab a pick and get started. So for me, I like to turn my perm rod set into a ponytail when it starts to become really frizzy, um, a little bit matted, but still have some curls left to it. So usually I just grab a pick and I start plucking it out because for my ponytails, I want them to be really big. So I'll do that. And then I'll also grab some shea butter put it in my hands and then I'll pluck out some curls individually just to add more volume to it as well Then I'm gonna grab my bottle mist and spray, which I absolutely love. I grabbed this from one of the local beauty supply stores and I like it as opposed to a regular water bottle. Usually with the regular water bottles, it just penetrates one area, but this mister, it usually gets pretty much every area when you start spraying it, which I love to use for my edges. So next you want to grab whatever you use for your edges and yes I'm using Eco Styler because why I have some left and I love them on my edges but if you have any recommendations for any other gels or um, edge control or anything let me know I'm always open to try more products. And like I said, the key to having a really smooth curly ponytail is to really get smooth edges. And how far you go back for your ponytail, it all depends. It's a personal preference. I usually like mine setting up at the top, so I try not to brush um, a lot of curls out. Now you want to grab your dimming brush. I love using this dimming brush to get um, any kinks and curls that I have that I want for the areas to be smooth at. It usually works very, very well. This is basically the only detangling brush that I use, besides a wide tooth comb. Now you want to grab a brush just to go over that to make sure it's as smooth as possible. Then you want to grab two ponytail holders. Um, you can use one. I personally use two because my hair is extremely thick and usually two, it just secures it better. Um, I usually use the ponytail holders that are wide enough to use as headbands, but I make sure that they're really tight. Some of them you can double, um, but for these, I just stretch them out a bit so I can use it as a ponytail holder. Then you're going to grab an old toothbrush, put a little bit of edge control on it, and start pulling out some of your baby hairs. Now, I do not like to OD with the baby hairs. I don't like to create fake baby hairs. I just like to put a little emphasis on it and to gel it down a little bit because I do have a big forehead. You know, shout out to all the big forehead girls. And I like to add a little bit of baby hairs to my forehead, you know, just to, just to put a little illusion on it or whatever. So once I'm done with my edges, I put a scarf on for about 10 minutes or so, and then voila, I am finished. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I look forward to hearing any suggestions you would like to see in the future for Curl Strut. All right, bye, guys.